Hi there, in today's video, you learned how to combine a text to a value in Excel, which can help you to organize your data and even create sentences and standard messages in Excel. In today's video, you first understand how to use the basic functions concatenate and concat. In addition to that, you also learn a technique of combining text and values in Excel, which has personally helped me a lot over the years, especially when I needed to create dynamic reports and dashboards at work. So make sure you watch the whole video. Let's start! The functions concatenate and concat help you to concatenate a list or a range of text strings from two or more cells. Let's apply these functions in this example which shows the bonus payment calculation for each employee of a firm. Here let's assume the bonus payment is calculated as three times the monthly salary multiplied by the percentage of goals achieved. So let's insert this calculation in the cell E3 and expand it down to the entire range. Now let's concatenate all these five strings in a single cell. So insert the function concatenate in cell H3. Before we press tab to accept this function, note that this function concatenate contains this small alert sign here. This is to inform you that Excel has available a more advanced function used to concatenate data in Excel, which we'll cover in a minute. For now, press tab to work with this function. The arguments here are the text strings we want to combine, and that necessarily needs to be done one by one. After selecting all the strings of your function, you can then close brackets and press enter. Our strings will be concatenated. To avoid this manual process of selecting arguments individually, Excel developed an updated function called simply concat which is available for Excel 2019 and higher. So let's insert that function in cell H3. Here you can basically select the entire range at once and the result will be exactly the same you would get with the function concatenate. In case you don't need just to concatenate the data but have a clear separation of the strings, you then need to work with delimiters. So let's make a simple example here by combining for now only the variables name and salary. We can then insert the function concat again in the cell H3 and the first argument will be the name John from cell B3. The second argument will be the delimiter itself which needs to be written within quotation marks and let's choose a dash with spaces. The last argument is John's salary available in cell C3. We can then close brackets and press enter. It now looks much better, but note that the thousand separator is missing. This is because we simply combined that data by ignoring the text format. If that's important to you, we can adapt the format of that number with the function text. If you don't know how to use the function text yet, I created a video about it on my YouTube channel, which may help you. The link is on the description. So let's edit the last argument of this function. Just before cell C3, insert the function text. Now the first argument will be the value from cell C3 itself. The second argument is the format text. So here let's insert a dollar sign, space, a number zero, comma for the thousand separator and another group of three digits. Remember this argument needs to be written within quotation marks. This function text is now complete, so make sure you close brackets again to complete this function concat and press enter. It now looks much better and we can expand this function down. Now if you want to make it even more presentable, bear in mind that you can actually insert a mini sentence here. So you can press F2 in the cell H3 and we can replace this dash by a sentence. So insert a comma with a space and then write your salary is and then press enter. Let's also expand it down to this entire range. It's now looking much better as we are correctly combining values to text in a concise sentence. Now if you want to combine text and values without using the functions concatenate and concat, you can simply use the numbers and symbol. All you need to remember is to use quotation marks for any text you have between the strings. 
Let's check it through an example. Delete the functions we just inserted and let's rebuild them using this technique. So in cell H3, let's press equals to insert a formula and then select cell B3, which contains our first string John. We can then insert ampersand to connect the second part of the sentence. Here we need to write a text, so make sure you insert quotation marks. We can then insert comma, add a space and write the sentence, your salary is, and make sure you leave a space before closing quotation marks. This bit is done and we now need to connect it to our last string, so insert ampersand again and select cell C3. If we press enter here, the number 7500 will not be correctly formatted, so make sure you insert the function text to convert that number in the correct currency format we need, as we did before. You can now press enter and expand this formula down. You will get exactly the same result as the functions concatenate and concat we saw previously. Keep this tip in mind as this is actually a straightforward process, all you need to remember is to use umpers and to extract the values from other cells and to write your sentences using quotation marks. If you understood how to build a small sentence combining value and text, why not build a whole paragraph? This might be useful in case you need to prepare standard messages in your spreadsheet based on the same types of inputs. In this example, let's work with a message which is based on the variables name, salary, percentage of goals, bonus and the date when the bonus will be paid. To gain speed, I wrote down in a Word document this standard message for the staff named John. We can then copy this sentence, go back to the Excel file and paste it in cell B12. Let's now display this message across this area with a blue background. To do that, simply select that range in advance, go to the Home menu and click on Justify. The entire text will be justified in this area. The idea here is to create a dynamic message by linking the keywords of this message to the correct staff data available in the table above. To do that, I created a simple index and match function in this row, just so any time a staff name is selected in this cell B8, the respective information related to salary and bonus are returned in this row 8. Note that as it stands, we only have the values pulled out by these functions, and we actually also need the correct format displayed here, which can be done in row 9. So select cell C9, insert the function text and link the argument value to cell C8. The argument text format needs to be a dollar currency with a thousand separator, all within quotation marks. Close brackets and press enter. The correct format we need for the message below is returned here. Let's repeat this procedure in this cell D9 and here the text format needs to be a percentage with double digit. Cell E9 needs to have the same format as cell C9, so simply copy that function and paste it here. For the payment date, we basically need to display this value with the date format, which in this case must be day, month and year, separated by a dash and all within quotation marks. We can ignore this alert as we adapted each function on purpose this time. Now we can basically combine these keywords to the message below. Whenever you are building a message like this, I recommend you first transform each of these sentences into a formula with a text value, which will make your work a lot easier. So let's press F2 in cell B12 and insert the equal sign to it. We can then insert a quotation mark at the beginning of the sentence, then press Ctrl arrow down to move to the end of the sentence, and here we can close quotation marks. By doing this, we have a sentence inside a formula. Let's then repeat the exact same process to all sentences, just so we can actually have three formulas here. Let's now edit this formula in cell B12 by inserting quotation marks just before the word John. By doing this, you are basically telling Excel that everything up to this point is a text value. We can then delete this word John, insert an ampersand and connect it to the cell B9, which at this stage is the value John. 
you can then insert ampersand again to connect it with the remaining part of the sentence. As what comes next is another text string, make sure you insert another quotation mark and press enter. By doing this, you have just made the staff name of your text to be a dynamic value, which can change based on each name we choose in this cell B9. After you make all the keywords dynamic, your sheet will look like this, where the sentences of your message will be all linked to the values of the table above. But remember that once we select a different staff name, all these variables on the top will change and therefore the message below will also change. So if we choose Linda, for example, this sentence will be automatically updated by reflecting the chosen values associated with that name. The same is true for Karen, where the sentence will look like this, and Paul, which will have this message. You can then copy this message and paste it in an email, for example. Now my challenge for you. Try to create a paragraph in Excel using this technique we just learned and let me know in the comments section below how you performed. If this video was helpful for you, please share it with family and friends. More people need access to these tips. I wish you all the best and see you in the next video.